Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair jet black, but really I'm only dyeing my hair like one or two shades darker than this. So as you can see, my hair is already pretty dark. It's dark brown, so it's not black. And I wanted to see what my hair would look like. So I'm starting off with, I'm using the Dark and Lovely um, Color Resist Color hair color hair dye from amazon and then i also bought this pack of like a hair dyeing kit off of amazon i really didn't even need this i barely used it but i still wanted to include it in the video it came with the little mixing bowl the two brushes and then two clips and then the gloves i had bought separately for dyeing my hair starting off by sectioning my hair and i'm splitting it down the middle and i'm tying one side up and then i'm gonna work one side at a time and then i'm gonna section off that side and make it a little bit smaller So now it's time to start pulling everything out the box. I'm starting off with the developer and then this was like the after everything conditioner that you use and then this is like the actual color and then the instructions which I did have to read because this is my first time dyeing my hair as well so and I haven't watched any videos on it either. I'm using my gloves, put my gloves on. I was excited at this point and now I'm taking the developer, opening that up. I had to smell it, that and the color because I just, I don't know, I didn't know how it smelled so Anyways, I opened up the developer and I opened up the color and I poured the color into the developer bottle and then you shake it up and then you twist off the little cap that it has on there. And then I'm sectioning off my hair into a smaller piece and then I did, okay I did use the clip, I used something from that kit I bought. And then I'm using the, I'm like kind of pouring it straight onto, I'm pouring it on the ends of my hair and then I'm working it up like the rest of my hair, you know. Um, and then I, I eventually just started pouring it into my hand and then putting it in my hair. I did it differently throughout my whole head kind of so you just watch me do that. Like here I'm trying to take the brush and just be fancy with it but the brush did nothing so I really didn't even need it. But now I'm just taking the rest of my hair in that section and I'm just putting, I'm mainly kind of putting it on the palm of my hand and like the ends and I'm working it up to the root you know. I'm taking the rest of my hair and continuing to do that in small sections. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm wrapping up on that side and I'm gonna braid this section um, just to keep it out the way. And then we're moving on to the other side. And then for this side, I ended up running out of dye like out the bottle. I didn't realize or think that I would need two bottles, but like looking at it now, one bottle was not gonna be enough. So I'm like trying to squeeze out the last of it onto my hair, but it's just not working. And as you can tell, like I tried to take that side out just to compare it. That side looks so much just more saturated than the other side. As you can see, my hair is not necessarily dry, but just it's a big difference. And at first I was not trying to open up another box of dye, but I ended up having to use another one, but I didn't put it, like I didn't make a separate bottle. I literally poured it into there, which next time I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna make a whole nother bottle. I was kinda like, I don't even know, like I was in denial of having to use another one. Like I was low key trying to save the other box, but then again, I bought two boxes just in case I needed it. So next time I will definitely put it in another bottle and like make another batch basically. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up on that side and it's nice and saturated and it matches the other side now. And then I'm using the leftover stuff that I have in that bottle, just all over my hair, the edges, just all over. Okay, so then I went ahead off camera and I washed and conditioned and all that with my hair. This is what it looks like when I took it out of the t-shirt I had on. So it does look different. You may not be able to tell, but I can tell it does look darker. Like I said in the intro, I'm basically dyeing my hair like one or two shades darker. So I'm able to tell. I parted my hair and I thought I like dyed my scalp black. <laughs> I'm like, where is my scalp at? I think that only happens with wigs. I don't think you can even dye your scalp 
a color, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know a lot about hair coloring, but anyways, I parted my hair and I'm gonna section it off and I'm gonna style my hair now. And first off, I'm putting some oil on my scalp just to get some moisture back like right on my root on my scalp, you know? So I did that, rubbed it in. I'm using this curl um, pudding. I didn't wanna use gel because I don't know, I felt like gel would be a little bit too much and I didn't just wanna have a feel of a bunch of product in my hair. So I'm using like this pudding and I actually used a lot. I It was really weighing my hair down to the point where my hair barely even shrunk when it dried. But I put a lot on my hair, I kinda didn't, mean to but i just i just did it i'm like whatever and then i put some more oil on top like i said i was trying to put a lot of like moisturizing products in my hair i didn't want to put gel in my hair and i'm just doing the same thing to the other side And then here, I'm gonna pull up a couple pictures just to show the comparison of my hair. So this is a picture of my hair. It is straight, but it don't matter. This is in direct sunlight of the color of my hair and what it looks like. Um, so it's obviously brown. And then this is also another picture of my hair when it's like curly. So it's definitely a difference. And then this is comparing the curly and straight together just so you can see in direct sunlight. And then I wanted to compare my hair. So that's black and then brown compared together. And my hair is fully dry in both of these pictures. So this is how my hair looks when I got done putting all the products and everything in. Um, and I love the color of it. Again, here's a little comparison of it dry and wet. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!